Hello and welcome. Uh, we've got this Hulti battery, it's a wee B22 2.6. I opened it to see what was wrong with it and I did a voltage check on it and I'm going to show you the result of the voltage check here. I'll show you what's wrong with it. It's showing 1.87 volts. So for a 21.6 volt battery that's not high. So I'm going to show you how to recover the voltage in this the correct way. If you've got a healthy battery and it's exceptionally low in the volts, what you do is you take out the screws and take the casing apart like that. You don't even have to take it out of the top to get this done. But I suppose you're probably better. Might as well. We'll do that. We'll take it all out anyway. It's all out like that. This battery has six cells. Um, because it's a 2.6 Ampere. You, sometimes you get them in the bigger ones that are 5.2, like this, the bigger one. They're just double the cells, but the principle is the same for measuring them. You measure each one as you go along. What I'm going to do here now is show you how much voltage is in each cell. We've measured the whole pack, which is 1.87, which is exceptionally low for a 21.6 pack. Um, we'll just Measure each one as we go along. Point three five of a volt. Untangle these a little bit. Point two seven of a volt. Point three seven of a volt. Point two eight of a volt. Point two six of a volt. Point three two of a volt. This is a prime candidate for voltage recovery. Even though it's really critically low, that can be recovered. Um, there's a lot of people recommend the jump start method. That's where you take a good battery and connect two leads to the positive and negative and spark it to get the power into them. But that can overload the cells, heat them up, pop them, and you know. We don't want that. You can also pop wee things in the circuit boards, some batteries. What we're going to do is a much safer, much easier method on the battery. It'll take a little bit longer, but it will be worth it. This is a small battery, so it shouldn't be too bad. Our safe method of voltage recovery involves this. This is the Lipro Balance AMAX B6 charger. And what we do with this is we charge up the whole battery pack with this to a chargeable voltage and chargeable voltage for these I used to think it was about 3.5 but I've been reliably informed that you can if we can get these equally to two, each one to 2.5 each that should charge however we have to get the power onto it first so there's um We'll go on here. This is the easiest way to charge the whole pack. There's a black wire and a red wire. Fairly simple. Colour coded. And because there's six rows of cells. I know they're single rows. They're just single cells. Six banks of cells you would call them. We have to go for 6S on the, on the balance charger. So with that connected. This might be too low. This might show an error. But we'll, I'll show you how to get around that. So a couple of ways. Low voltage. I expected that because the voltage is so low. Sometimes this works. Not all the time. I've had a little bit of problems getting this to work. You can go down to below 1S and hit um, something called auto. And sometimes she feeds the power in automatically. Sometimes she's just low voltage as well. No, she's going to do it. Sometimes she just calls for it like that. But in the case of that, what you do is you go to 1S first. To be clear, 1S is one bank of cells, even though you're charging the six. And had her try her at 1S again to see what she does. If she's really low. She might need to go to 1S. We'll try her. 
See if she starts putting any ampage on. Yeah, she has. She's working. That's good. Make sure you have this set to charge because I had it set to balance. And see when the ampage starts dropping like that, just stop her. And then go to 2S. Over voltage. So it must get. She says she's over voltage, so we might have to go to 3S then. The cells might have recovered significantly. Might have been a wee. Try 3S here, do you see? See if she starts putting any ampage in there. Ah, she is. She's good. She's putting ampage in there. I must be her nearly. Aye. She's putting the ampage in. If it was a sort of a decent voltage, like I know, 8 or 10, she might take her up in the success. We'll maybe try her now with um we'll try her up and we'll we'll try and go to the success to see if she'll take it now. She might, I shall take it. So we'll have to leave her on a wee while now, that'll charge the whole pack. And if you want to buy this charger it's a very useful thing if you have a lot of batteries and you have them lying around they get discharged i'm going to put a link in the description and pinned in the comments section so we're going to have to leave that a little while till the amperage comes down here the voltage will rise and the amperage will come down and it'll tell you when it's full and then we should have a charged battery even if we get her up to what i think what's uh six 2.5s if we get up to even 15, 16 volts, she might charge anyway. What do I think? Ah, 16 volts, she might. Get her up to 20 anyway. And she'll be definitely within the safe zone. Right, just for educational purposes, we're going to stop the charger here now. She'll only be charging for a minute. Just to see where we're at voltage wise with all this. I'm going to take the overhaul voltage of the battery and I'm going to take. The battery cell voltage, individual cell voltage, 19.56 And we'll go to the individual cells, and them cells never heated up, they're, they're still cool 3.24 Yeah, and they're all sitting fairly, fairly, fairly steady as far as, um, what would you call it? They're very close to similar voltage to each other so that's quite balanced i think what we'll do is put it together and uh try it in the charger i'm gonna be flashing light so there's something before we started there was nothing she might still be too low but she shouldn't be really so here we are straight on the charger here now And it's charging. So we'll leave that on a while and see what happens. But I think we'll fix the battery with the uh, MX B6 and not damage the cells. As you can see, we're still charging nicely. Um, we'll leave that on a little while to see how it goes on. We want to finish the charging cycle here. This process I showed you will only work if the cells are all equal. They're all low and all equally low, fine. If some of them are 3 volts and some of them are 2 volts and some of them are down there, that will not work. It can't do what I just did. You may have to replace some cells, you may have to bring some cells up, balance the banks. There's another process for that. You will find it here in my channel. So we'll leave that on the lorry wet. There it is, fully charged. I'll get it off the charger. Here we go four bars and we'll test the battery just to see 24.82 so that's maximum voltage that's what you would want to explain this is a six cell battery so it's um instead of being a 20 volt battery it's a 24 volt battery so there you are 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.